Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another pen video uh, for review and it, technically it's not pens I'm reviewing but it's it's a case and this is a very special case. These cases never existed until I designed the specification for these and the story is I, I had these designed really just as the pandemic was starting in early 2020. Uh, I wanted effectively some six pen cases um, so Absolute Breton actually made some five pen cases, but not six pen cases. So I wanted some six pen cases, which I have, and but I also wanted some 12 pen cases. But I also, uh, I like the Estabrook design of case, so you've got a sleeve. Uh, I wanted them designed similar to that, but I also wanted uh, a six and a 12 pen configuration and let me, if I remove this, but first of all, let me just show you the leather quality here. The leather quality on this case is beautiful. Uh, it's a cowhide leather uh, with a croc print and it's dyed in red. Um, but if I remove the sleeve, you'll see them there. And this is a very, very good quality leather. And this was the configuration I wanted. I wanted it in, uh, th there were two specific, well, three specifications. I wanted a, a six and a 12 pen case because Breton, uh, Absolute Breton, only had a five pen case. So I wanted these made to that specification. I also wanted a longer channel here because his five pen cases were would really only support pens that were about 125 millimeters in length these ones actually support oversized now if anyone knows these are visconti opera masters these are massive massive pens so if i show you in the size of my hand there these are really long pens so my specification was I wanted them made that would support the Sconti Opera Masters I have in my collection. Also Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Pens as well. And John went over to uh, Spain in early 2020, just before the pandemic started. And he took some Armando Simone Club Bologna's over. And I can actually show you because uh, I've got another case here in, in blue, the 12 pen case. So you can see the Armando Simonica Bologna Extras. They just fit in this case. So he took a bunch of those over and said to Breton that he wants, wanted to get these cases made for me, uh, and but they were to my specification. So this is where we came up with this design between John and myself. So we, instead of having a five pen short case, we had a six pen and a 12 pen case that supported longer pens. And this has worked out really well. Uh, so much so, as you saw there, I have ordered uh, six pen cases. So if I just remove the 12 pen case for the moment, I'll show you that I've got a six pen in red, a six pen in blue, and I can remove those and you can see the pens here so let me do that so you can see here i've got a six pen and a 12 pen configuration there and if i put those cases away let me do that i'll show you obviously i've got the red here as well which is what i'm reviewing today um i also have a blue one in 12 so again you can look at this quality of the leather uh, you don't see the stitching it really is a good quality and if i remove that you can see the pens there so these are really really good quality heavy made cases and then if i show you another one that i've got as well 
and this is in the lilac. Well, I've actually got two of these in lilac now. I did actually have three in the 12 pen lilac and I had a, a six pen lilac, but I sold a six pen lilac and a 12 pen lilac to a friend because she liked them so much. Uh, and I didn't really need all of these. So uh, I did sell a couple of the cases, uh, but here's the lilac one with, with a, a green suede uh, insert as well. So I have invested a lot of money in these cases for sure. I'll bring the red one back because that's what I'm reviewing at the moment. Uh, you'll see here, these are made of wood, the, the cases, uh, with the um, cowhide leather and suede. Uh, so these are very premium cases. And these do come in around about £450, I believe. Uh, at least that's what I think the price was around about um, at the start of the pandemic. Um, but go and check out John's website at stjohnspens.com. He does have some of these still available for purchase in 6 and 12 pen configurations. He also has some of the shorter 5 pen ones as well. Uh, but the, the 6 and the 12 pens were made to my specification and I really do like these. Uh, the leather is, is a really, really good quality. Again, you cannot see the stitching here. So Absolute Breton does make some really, really nice cases but they are not cheap and i know that this isn't for everyone i do know that these are around 450 pounds for a 12 pen case so these are not cheap for sure could i get a cheaper case yes i could get an estabrook uh, i think they do a 12 pen case i could get a visconti 12 pen case for probably about 110 120 pound maybe maybe they're 130 now because uh, obviously prices since the pandemic have have uh, gone up for, for most products. So yes, I could have got a, a case. I probably got, could have got three or four cases for, for this price. But the way I looked at this is that I wanted an investment, just like if you're buying a car, you're investing in that car for maybe over five or six years. So uh, these cases, if I treat them well, are going to last, I'm hoping, a lifetime, uh, certainly a decade. Uh, I do chuck these cases in my rucksacks because I do take them to pen meets, pen clubs, pen shows, even to the office so I can write a letter or two. So I do take these with me. I do typically put them in a, a cloth linen bag first so that I don't mark the leather. I would like to keep this leather pretty pristine if I can. Um, I know some people like the crazy horse leather type um, approach like in Galen leather I've got some of those uh, but I do like this one so uh, for me uh, this this is probably um, cases I want to try and keep looking pristine so from that perspective uh, I do think these are going to last a lifetime for me uh, will I need any more of these I don't know I might need to buy some more if, if I buy a load more pens. I, I have around 300 pens at the moment, and I'm trying to not go much over that uh, because I'm not able to write with all of my pens. So for me, uh, this these cases are good. Uh, I do have other pen cases. So worst case scenario, I can put pens in other cases. But these are also like a photo opportunity case as well. So I can use them to take photos with, with my pens. And they look really good. So from my perspective, was this a good investment? Yes, I think it was. Uh, are they expensive? Yes, very expensive. Uh, would most people buy them? Probably not. But for me, it's something that I wanted. And I decided that's where I was going to invest my money. So and you can see the Visconti Opera Masters do fit really, really well. Uh, in this pen case, along with my Armando Semenico Bologna Extras. So for me, these are pen cases that are going to last hopefully a lifetime. And uh, I'm really glad that I uh, bought these and had them designed as well. So there you have it. That's my uh, Absolute Breton 12 pen uh, leather case in red designed to my specification. So if you want to look uh, and, and pick up one of these, do go and check out stjohnspens.com. Look under the accessory section. You'll find them there if you still have some. So there you have it. That's my review of the Breton 12-pen 
case in red. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.